The right to choose is not something most women think about on a daily basis. When I was in high school and in college, abortion wasn't legal. So the idea of an unwanted pregnancy, and it was very hard to get birth control, so, uh, was terrifying. It's been 40 years since the landmark case Roe versus Wade made it legal for women to get abortions. Retired nurse Diane Dwyer remembers life before. And I was there before these things were legal. I was there in the 60s working labor and delivery, working family planning programs. As does Karen DeCrow, an attorney and the one-time president of the National Organization of Women. If we don't have the right to control our health and our bodies, as they say, then what rights do we have? Both women say it's symbolic that this anniversary falls on the same week as President Obama's inauguration and Martin Luther King Jr. Day, a true indication of just how far the equal rights movement has come. President Obama is very good on the issue of gender equality, so I trust him. And while the fight for equality continues, Celebrating victories along the way is rejuvenating. We're, we're sometimes in a constant battle, and sometimes you have to come back and say, you know, today we celebrate, we did good. Providing the strength to move forward and fight another day. Reporting in Jamesville, I'm Dora Scheidel.